Think of the stories people must have told about their encounters with Jesus. He sent the blind away seeing, and the crippled dancing. He spoke, and storms obeyed. Demons fled, and the dead lived. He remembered the forgotten, put his arms around the despised, and loved the outcast. Yet to save us, he must lay down his life. The night before he died, Jesus went out from the meal to the Mount of Olives, where it was his custom to pray. In great agony, he looked ahead to what he knew he would have to suffer. If it's possible, Father, do not make me drink this cup, he cried in anguish. Yet I lay down my will so that your will can be done. Behold the Lamb, praying for his disciples and praying for every soul that would be his. Behold him humbly submitting to his Father's plan. Behold him preparing to glorify God as only he could. He was betrayed, arrested, and deserted. He was beaten and humiliated, and wrongly accused. Throughout the night, he was taken from one unjust trial to another. He stood before Annas, Caiaphas, Pilate, Herod, and Pilate again. He was charged with insurrection, treason, and blasphemy. In every case, he was found to be innocent. Yet the crowd and their leaders would not be satisfied until the sentence of death was pronounced. Behold the Lamb, the one who spoke worlds into existence, standing silently as they mocked his deity, rejected his love, and sneered at his sovereignty. No one took his life from him. He could have stopped the painful parade up to Calvary with a word, but he never uttered it. Instead, he opened his arms to the beam, he opened his hands to the nails, and he allowed himself to be crucified. Behold the Lamb, surrendering his life, bearing our sin, absorbing the wrath of God in our place, and finally dying for our atonement.